OP's boyfriend adopts a wild baby possum, and this is OKOP, where we read the wildest, craziest true stories on Earth. I'm John, and Riley! What's up, dude? Didn't expect me to be sitting here, did you? That's right, we done fooled you, but Riley, welcome to the hot seat. Thank you. Um, this is nice. So glad to have you here. Thanks for inviting me. Bro, of course. <laughs> Help. My boyfriend got a possum and is getting depressed that it's not loving him. <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> the bonding's not working uh, what are we what is this like i feel like ferrets ferrets i think sugar that's gliders? the sugar gliders i sugar feel like gliders. um i've heard before it's like a stereotype of like the ferret is the depression animal also by the way ladies and gentlemen sophia is on production today Woo! Yep. yeah the They're, producer seat learning the ropes hell yeah preparing to when i die she'll take my place exactly wait i'm just gonna double check my audio okay we're good yes good, good look stuff. at her did you see that dude produce <laughs> Producing Brilliant. over here, Woo. Sophia, the producer Donner. <laughs> but let's get into it. For context, my boyfriend, male 19, that explains a lot of what's going on here, absolutely adores possums and has always wanted one. He told his younger brother that if he caught a baby one for him, he would pay him $500. I'm sorry, but Whoa, you're paying your brother $500 to just, catch a wild possum. Bro, that's it, insane. His younger brother, bro, just give him like 50 bucks. Yeah, yeah 50 bucks. That's like actually five hundred dollars. My grandpa, him. my great grandpa said, if I killed a um, oh, this is okay story time. Uh oh. But if I killed a gr groundhog, he'd pay me fifty bucks because the groundhogs would eat our green beans. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Bro, they're the ops. They are the ops, dude. dude. Dude, the amount of plants that they killed over my childhood, insane. I bet you wow. had three more weeks of winter after that. <laughs> came early <laughs> came early oh my god well that finally happened catching the possum and he recently came up here to pick it up I did my best to help him out by giving him half of my old ferret cage and letting him borrow my cat carrier but ever since he brought him back down things have been getting steadily worse mm -mm. I just have to ask everyone watching are we surprised are we surprised I'm sorry I'm sorry hate me hate me if you want but the wild possum like okay does this thing have rabies shots i don't think possums can get rabies you have an okay story time about a possum wow dude so many okay story times today he hit the hot seat and came to deliver ladies and gentlemen when he first got home he asked if he should give it a flea bath there we go. Fleas. Come on. Before putting it in the cage. I said that probably wasn't a good idea because of how stressed the possum might be. Yeah, dude. That thing's like... I was in the wild. No, I'm not. So don't capture him when he's not stressed, not getting needing a bath in the wild. Yeah. Okay. Like, you know how your dog feels bad whenever you're giving a bath? Think of an animal that's never been domesticated by any generations. That would be bath. crazy. This giant hairless creature is just putting you in a water. Think of a giant thing of water. <laughs> The possum was hairless. I was like, have you seen a possum before? <laughs> <laughs> Do you even know what a possum is? Oh my God. He got a bit frustrated, I think, in the process and then said he would leave the possum alone for a bit to de-stress. Well, <laughs> well, you got bit in the process. Yeah, well, he didn't get de-stressed. And in trying to help him and suggesting that he give the possum a lot more alone time and take things slow, he snapped telling me to get off his ass. Oh, the boyfriend is getting pissed getting off here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm confused that why do you think you need to give this possum some emotional time <laughs> to heal over all these things that you're doing to it? If you're worried about it, leave it in the wild. Leave it in the wild. And like the possum doesn't have these emotional intelligence to be like, oh, he's giving me time to like be in my new place, in my new house to find. Like he's scared to death, dude. He's trying to get out I of mean, there. Yeah, I will say he's probably scared either way. There probably is something to be said where it's like, it's like a dog. Like, okay, if the dog is like freaking out because we're trying to give it a bath, maybe we give it a beat and then try again and not like push it to the limit, but just keep it in the wild. Keep it in the wild. I'm wondering when this thing will play dead and he'll be like, oh no, it's dead. <laughs> Bro, that would be, I would love for that to happen. I'm praying that that'll happen in the story. He apologized later for saying that, but I don't know. This is just really stressing him out and he's getting more upset that it won't love him the way he wants. Then don't have it. It's simple. <laughs> it's so simple. Dude, that's wild. It's so simple. <sighs> 
I know how much this means to him, and I'm trying so dang hard to be supportive, but he won't even accept and prepare for the possibility that maybe things just aren't meant to be, and I don't know what to do. I feel like he's just going to get mad at me and accuse me of wanting to get rid of it or that I don't want him to be happy when I love possums just as much as he does, and I love him tremendously, and I want to see him happy, but I like happy possums, not stressed sad ones, so... <laughs> <laughs> help dot 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 question mark all right there's an update where are they from is this some florida activity this sounds like florida activity i don't think it was possums but it was definitely ferrets i had i always wanted a ferret but you can't legally have them in california oh possums. i didn't ferrets. know that ferrets interesting i had a friend who had a barn and like cousins kind of living in and out and one of them oh stoner's pet that's what it is the ferret is like the classic stoner pet ah uh, yeah so like, that's like the trope that's what i was trying to think of but i guess maybe the stoner and the press trope or whatever i don't know <laughs> this is insane i don't know where your head's at where you're like oh i can take this possum in and take care of it okay so i think what's happening here is like the boyfriend is like i am not feeling good i'm in a depressive state or whatever i need the thing the the shiny object you know the magic pill so to speak that will help me get out of my depression Depression, and he's just saying like he's putting it all in this possum like I think it's almost akin to like hey as soon as I get this new job as soon as I you know get this new car I will like feel better I'll be happy I'll be like less depressed but he's putting it on this <laughs> wild animal oh dude you have so many other critters you can go for I mean like I'm sorry a dog yeah like can we please yeah dude go for another critter like a capybara like dog capybara. we gotta start with some basic ass animals here okay i'm sorry even hamster even gerbil hamster snake snake anything that you could go to like a professional breeder or you know what even a, even a store or a rescue and go get that's legal like listen you're already again maybe i'm reading in between the lines a little bit but it seems like your girlfriend is saying you're you're down bad you're, yeah. you're a little depressed you're a little bit down in the dumps therapy whoa like that's kind of crazy. Just think of that. You can't put your happiness on an opossum. You can't, dude. Just get like for real. Just go on TikTok and look up happy possums, and that that. No, he's do gonna it. want it more. This is like some impulsive behavior. That was a stretch, but it worked. I was I'm giving that to you. I just I'm barely that got you. there. It's some impulsive behavior, like like. <laughs> He's like, I think he literally was like, I'm depressed. I need a possum. I need a possum. Little brother, go get one. Oh, I got one. Yes. Also, in most states, keeping a possum is illegal as a pet. Yep. Come on. Don't become a, a criminal to solve your depression, Come guys. On, you wouldn't steal a possum. <laughs> but hey, to be fair, other people like use drugs to solve their depression. And look how it turns out for them, dude. Amazing. Don't do illegal <laughs> things to solve your depression. All right. Let's get back into this update. There's let's see more? what's going on here. Yeah. Oh, there's definitely more. So first update, image number one. This was posted later that same day. Hi, I don't know if this will go through, but I need some help regarding a possum. I don't know if you'll remember me, but my name is blank and I volunteered at your residence in blank about a year ago with my boyfriend. If you have some time, I'd really appreciate your help with an issue related to a baby or juvenile possum. Okay, so they're reaching out for like some professional help. It sounds the like. The girlfriend is. The girlfriend is? Okay. Yeah. I can give a far more in-depth explanation if you're okay with that. So sorry to bother you. I remember you. Smiley face, thumbs up. What's up? And then it looks like... OP sends the story so far okay. and then says my boyfriend and I have always loved possums and my boyfriend has always dreamed of having a pet possum. The picture attached explains the current situation. I'm very concerned for the well-being of both my boyfriend and this possum, but he won't listen to me and I don't know what to do. I know he isn't trained or prepared to try to domesticate a wild animal like this. I wasn't putting it that succinctly, but that is such a good point. Yeah. Well, you're not trained to domesticate a wild animal. Mm -hmm. You're not. Stop it. If you were Snow White, I'd maybe be like, okay, but you're not. <laughs> whisper to the animals, but don't eat the apple. I feel awful because I know this will make my boyfriend unhappy, but I'm severely worried something awful could happen. Him being evicted from his apartment, the poor thing passing away because he wasn't aware of how to properly care for it, it being seized and euthanized, etc, etc. I was told to reach out to a rehabilitation organization, and y'all are the first people I thought of. Smart move on OP's part. Any help or advice you have would be greatly appreciated. I was really torn because I was worried that he would break up with me, but 
but I need to prioritize their well-being over my happiness. Please don't contact my boyfriend about this yet. I'm trying to handle this as delicately as possible. I'm sorry for the lengthy message. Riley, you got something? Holy, okay. The fact that like, imagine when the landlord figures this out, be like, just walking in be like seeing a possum in a cage. You're getting evicted, dude. Immediately dude, out. I mean, like literally they're like, oh, we're trying to keep like raccoons and possums out of the trash. And you're like, oh no, it's all good. I'm just raising one. <laughs> It's like, don't worry, I'm keeping it contained. It won't get in the trash, it'll be here. You know what? I guarantee you that domesticating wild possums is not in your lease, bro. They can't get you for that. It's not in there. <laughs> this is another migraine story for me. This is just, just simply giving me migraines. Yeah, this is crazy. So the guy at the rehabilitation clinic response. Also, is this like a rehabilitation for possums? Like I think just for any wild like animal. Just for any wild animal. That makes sense. Yeah. So they respond. Wow, that's a hard situation. <laughs> <laughs> I could meet up with you guys and try my best to educate him. No judgments, by the way. That's super dope wow, of him. That's awesome. Super dope. And offer the help I can if you'd like that kind of soft intervention. Basically, he's on the road to giving that little one something called metabolic bone disease. You give that off, don't you, John? <laughs> metabolic bone disease. This is why. This is why we don't let Riley get in the hot seat because I'll say this stuff. Look, I'm about the old OKOP ways. Dude, okay? yeah, he's the, bringing back the traditional. Old, old. Yeah, some OG OKOP. Before we were 90 percent female audience. Yeah, I'm trying to convert. <laughs> It's kind of hard. <laughs> it's okay. Our boy is sterile boy. We won't let him change. The bone disease is extremely painful and not curable. I can tell you what he's doing isn't legal. No, they're going to kill this poor animal that was just living. It's just oh. minding its own business in the wild just because you're feeling sad. No, dude. No. Get a legally adoptable Dog, cat, snake, tarantula, gerbil. Tur well, I don't turtle. Think turtle. I don't think turtles are. Bearded lizard. Bearded lizard. Turtles are illegal? In Tennessee. I tried to get a turtle. Really? Yeah, I was going to get a turtle from the side of the road and make it my pet. Yeah, it didn't work out. Wow. Okay, there's more actually. Okay. So they go on to say, but again, I'm less concerned about this aspect and more about his and the possum's well-being. Talking about less worried about it being legal. Just let me know if any of that might help. Calls the cops right after. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's him, officer. That's the, guy. <laughs> the depressed guy holding the possum. <laughs> Just Get him. Cr crying to his possum's metabolic bones. <laughs> and then the next one is an image. Um, I'll, I'll read it through and see the context. So I couldn't find the business card, but I did some digging and found their website. I reached out and this is how it went. I'm a little cautious of what exactly it means. Is this enough? Am I doing the right thing? Does this sound like an educated and trustworthy rehabilitator? I volunteered for this woman and trust her, but I don't want to be naive if I'm just not educated enough. So I guess this is a comment or or update possibly on the validity. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, I guess it's someone's comment on the validity of the Honestly, I think this dude, this rehabilitation dude has been the best and most sane person yeah. by far in this whole, whole story situation. so far. Yeah. Like, please give the possum to this man. Let it go. I think like even <laughs> look, even if he's not like the highest like Yelp rated wild animal rehabilitator on he's like a super Yelp, chill dude. You know what? He's like, I'm not gonna rat you out. I'm just gonna to say <laughs> just to solve this situation as fastly and swiftly as possible let's give this man the possum that's, that's <laughs> listen you guys can if you want to disagree with me in the comments or have any thoughts on that please talk to me in the comments below please address your concerns but that's how i'm feeling i mean riley sophia no do we feel any differently possum, give it up no you gotta give up the possum you gotta, you gotta <laughs> let him have it golly <laughs> give him something else please all right and then this second update coming up was posted just an hour after the first one i have this really impressive 27 year streak 27 years that 27 years. is what like a half your life yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. The streak is I have 
never broken a bone in my body in my whole life. Ever. Ever. Nothing. Really? Zero. Have you really been living then? See, that's the thing is <laughs> I'm I'm kind of scared. If this happens, wh where am I going to turn? Yeah. I, honestly, I'm, I'm terrified. I don't know where to go. Yeah. Well, I feel like if you do ever break a bone, yeah. there is one place you should turn always. Where? ZocDoc. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. And all these doctors have actual reviews from real verified patients. We're talking about booking appointments with tens of thousands of top rated patient reviewed credible doctors and specialists. You can filter for ones that take your insurance and treat basically any condition you're searching for. The typical wait time to see a doctor on ZocDoc is only 24 to 72 hours. Sometimes even the same day. Y'all, we all use ZocDoc and you should too. Go to ZocDoc.com slash OKOP and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc.com slash OKOP. ZocDoc.com slash OKOP. Back to the show. So this conversation was on Snapchat and I'm afraid to screenshot it in fear of making things worse. Mm. Okay, I, I believe this is a conversation between the couple, uh, gotcha. OP and the boyfriend. Okay. Me, hey baby, I reached out to the possum rehabilitator because I know you've been having some difficulty <laughs> with Poncho. <laughs> he named it? No! With Poncho the opossum. Dude, now that he named it, it's game over. He's never letting this thing go. And I want to help the both of you be happy and safe. And she said she would be happy to meet up with us and talk to and educate us about possums. I think it'd be a great idea. And I was wondering if you'd be down for a meeting up with her when you come back up this weekend. Him. This is all like one word, like texts. Honey. Ugh. No. Stop. Why would you do that? Are you an idiot? It's illegal. God damn it. I know you're just trying to help us stop. So he knows it's illegal. He knows what he's doing is wrong. Yikes. I don't like this guy. He sucks. Literally, OP is trying to do everything that she can to like, she's trying to like, how do I best address, you know, my boyfriend and make sure he's okay and happy? I don't want his unhappiness, of course. Mm -hmm. But then there's this possum that's going to die of Poncho. uncure Poncho. Poncho. <laughs> Thank you. Who's going to die of uncurable bone disease. <laughs> no. What is happening Not here? Poncho. Not Poncho. <laughs> Let Poncho live. Hey, hashtag free Poncho. Poncho. Bro, Poncho. Hashtag free Poncho in the comments. Free my boy free, Poncho. Free my boy Poncho, bro. <laughs> he didn't do nothing wrong. Poncho Villa. Yeah. That's a person. Who is that? Oh, it's like a in Mexican lore. Mm. Yeah. Well, he's a, I think he's a real person. I had to take a class on Mexican history. I like it. Well, wow. little history with our, our he's possum kind of story. Like a, he's kind of like the Robin Hood of the Mexican. Um, oh, uh, word. War, war. Is he shoe bone? Hell yeah. No, no. Then he's not Robin Hood. Okay. All right, let's do it. Me. No, hun. She said she wouldn't add more stress and isn't worried about the legality of it. Him. I have resources. It depends on the day and when. Me. I think it would be a really good idea. Wait, what resources is he talking about? Because if he's going to say like 4chan or like Reddit, sorry guys, subreddits are crazy. Yeah. You can attest to that Reddit users, but yeah. like, where is he getting these resources? Yeah. What are these resources? Like, what does that mean? <laughs> I have resources. I Bro, know a guy. You're a 19 year old dude who is using <laughs> possums to cure your depression. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> up okay i'm done with you communicate with me next time before you do something like that me we could schedule it around your schedule him that could have been really dumb it still could be break up please break please up. Break, up. break up break up break up break up me i was just trying to help him you know how much trouble you could put me in yeah well unless you want to pay the fine i suggest you stop trying to help with poncho me no honey i do know that and i properly considered all all the options, which OP totally did. Him. And when you're coming home with him, I don't want you opening the cage yet. Me. If it wasn't her, I wouldn't have reached out to anyone. Him. Not the first visit. I don't want you opening the cage at all. Got it? Me. Okay. Him. You need to talk to me before you do crap like that. I was talking to Kat, by the way. She was helping me. You need to understand that you can't talk about it right now. He's too young. Why did you tell her? I hate this guy. He's too young. Also, they're communicating via Snapchat. 
Snapchat? Yeah, this I is mean, Snapchat. This is Gen Z activities yeah. right here. <laughs> My brother <laughs> communicates through Snapchat with his oh, girlfriend. Okay. Got it. Strange to me. Same. He's your age. I don't really want to talk about it right now. I need some time. Answer me now. God, stop. I need some time. You know, I'd never do anything to put you in danger and I'm not stupid. You need to realize that you're not only putting me at risk of losing Poncho, but also getting me kicked out of my apartment. So I think I have a reason to be mad. Me. No, I know that. I do. You need to talk to me. I wouldn't have talked to anyone other than her before you do things like that. I'm not stupid. I've considered this a lot because so help me God if I lose Poncho. Show. Yeah, but the thing is, she's a licensed rehabilitator who I have really no connection to. I don't know her that well. How do you know that she didn't take an oath? If I lose Poncho and get fined, you're paying for it and we're done. It's as simple as that. Me. What? Him. And I'm not bluffing. What do you mean what? What do you want me to clarify? I am beyond pissed off. Why wouldn't you think for a second to talk to me? Ask me. He calls me several times and a bit more time passes. Him. Honey, I'm calm. I read the laws. I'm not angry, but I need a hunting license. What? Where are you going to hunt, Poncho? <laughs> Poncho. Leave Dude. Poncho alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. What do you need a hunting license for? Here we go. There's no issue. Section 71005 states that a person who possesses a hunting license may take and possess a fur bearing animal if neither the fur bearing animal or any part of the animal is taken for the purpose of sale, barter, exchange. Please call me. I wouldn't leave you ever. I just got scared. I'm sorry. I got angry. Really angry. There's a third update. Oh my gosh. I'm trying not to think of the cringe of this conversation. Dude. My question, who's Catherine or Cat or whoever? Uh, Same right. question. Oath? What oath? I swear to protect a dying bone <laughs> possum. Talking about the oath with her talking to the resource lady. It's like the resource lady didn't take an oath. She could rat me out. Rat me out. Oh, didn't take an oath to like yeah. not. What, yeah. Who says oath in a normal conversation? I, uh, okay, I'm going to leave. There's a lot of like words during that that don't make a lot of sense to me. But anyways, back onto the podcast. Poncho, dude, he's depressed. This guy just needs to be dumped and needs to learn the lesson that you can't do this to other people. Yep. Or animals. Or animals. Bro, this poor animal just plucked out of nature. It was truly minding its own business. <laughs> it was standing <laughs> on business. He was just doing his own thing. And Bro. Then you, you were kidnapping it. Just doing opossum activities. Yeah. Imagine if someone took you in and started doing this. How would you feel? Imagine you guys were just just recording and and this big old creature came in and just grabbed you and was like giving you baths and, and now like, i have bone disease <laughs> yeah. i'd be so pissed how did he get the bone disease i'm no, like oh no they don't ha i don't think it has bone disease this person was just saying if you're leaving it in this situation it might get bone disease right because it's not getting around and moving you're right yeah. Like yeah. It's it's in a cage. Cage. yeah it's like not moving not eating what it normally whatever the things in the wild that provide it what it needs yeah dude crazy yeah crazy uh, okay what's the start update she okay. breaks up with him okay please it. please god Money. please answer my prayers oh lord this was posted the next day wow really getting cold open here just thrown into it diarrhea sounds like a bad sign i'm worried i decided to act too late what does this mean for the possum <gasps> Poncho, not so, Poncho. so maybe Poncho's, Poncho's not doing too upset. good Poncho. bro Dude, you were, imagine being in an apartment with diarrhea rotting possum. Rotting? He's rotting. He's getting bone rotting. disease. He's, <laughs> he's having diarrhea. He's uh, not getting out in the sun. He's rotting. He's withering in away. In a cage. He's, he's withering rotting. away. <laughs> First and foremost, stop bullying Riley, Sophia. I'm not. Hey. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes. Yes. Sills? Wow. I bully her all the time. Now <laughs> I'm Dude, it's the seat. It's the seat. The I seat just like s something gets inside you. Yeah. Don't you feel like a villain over there? Yeah. I got see that. you in the corner of my she eye. She got that possum <laughs> in her. <laughs> I got that wild possum in me. First and foremost, I'd like to start off with the biggest thank you I could give. I've said that before, but it is literally beyond what I can properly put into words. From the bottom of my heart, I'm so grateful to have come across and be supported by so many wise, incredible, wonderful human beings. Girl. <sighs> 
You deserve so much yeah, better. You deserve your own life apart from the possible. She did such a great job trying to like handle this. Reason? Like you deserve a non-possum boyfriend. Yeah. Truly. Truly, no more possum boyfriends for you. I never imagined that my post asking for help would bring so much warmth and security and hope, frankly, into my miserable life at the moment. Not trying to complain, of course. I have it better than most folks, but wow. Y'all are genuinely so amazing, and I'm so blessed to be receiving such compassion. Thank you so, 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 so much. I've gotten a lot of notifications throughout the night, and I will most certainly reply to all of them, but I'm a bit mentally drained at the moment. I was actually planning on trying to get some sleep, but I opened my boyfriend's snaps and among the noise, he said that Poncho's been having diarrhea. That can't be a good sign. Does anyone know what this might mean for the possum and how I can help it in the meantime? Dude, she's still out here trying to like, she's literally still worried about this possum. Girl, you deserve some you time. You you deserve you really pour, fill up your own cup. Go worry mm -hmm. about like your next test or yeah. like, you know, what nails you need to paint or like literally you don't need to worry about a possum. No, no. Like, <sighs> She's just too good, dude. She is. She's too yeah. good. Awesome girlfriend. She wants to help. I'm so, so sorry. I know that y'all have already done so much for me and I don't really deserve it. OP. Dude, you've done so much for the possum, for Poncho. For everybody else. Literally everyone else. You deserve this. I know I should be trying to research this on my own instead of relying on others. Girl, you are You're good. good. You're good. And I am most certainly not trying to come off as though I feel entitled to your time and compassion, but I don't know what to do. God. Dude, who hurt you? Yeah, for the real. Possum. Yeah. No, sorry, the possum boyfriend. The possum, possum boyfriend, boyfriend, yes. Yeah. <laughs> not Pancho. He Not Pancho, Pancho would never. Pancho would never. Any help would be greatly appreciated. I am so sorry for being such a bother. I really appreciate not being alone in the world. It means the world to me. Oh, dang. Man, poor OP. How's the boss doing? Dude, how's Pancho doing? Well, we we do have a fourth update. You have a fourth and fifth. Ooh, just read over the rules. So I'll add this here. I'm female 19 and I'm wondering if I feel entitled for wanting my boyfriend's male 19's attention after he hurt me so badly. Our one year anniversary will be September 9th and I have known him since my freshman year of high school. I don't know if asking that falls under the no moral judgments rule. I guess that's a rule for sharing the story. If so, I'm more than happy to edit the post. This is going to be messy and probably not make uh, a lot of sense. So my apologies. My mind is in shambles at the moment. You might have taken a look at my post history to understand the full context, but I will try to give as much context as I can so I don't inconvenience whoever read this if anyone is. My boyfriend in a fit of rage threatened to break up with me again. He's done this multiple times. I didn't speak to him for quite a few hours and when I finally did, I was so disappointed. He called me numerous times and I know I should be grateful for that concern. No, but when I opened up his snap messages, he said I was making him sad. Truly too bad. Yeah, yeah bro. Like, that's on you, buddy. Yeah. Me? Making him sad? Sad that I wasn't communicating and so on. So I did. I poured my heart out. I told him just how heartbreaking it is for my own boyfriend to constantly threaten breaking up with me with ease. And he admitted tonight that he uses it as a tool because it gets me to listen and shows me that he's serious. Ah. Girl. Yeah, this is a lot Please. of emotional manipulation. Manipulation Please. going on. Please. Please leave him. I'm hoping that's the fifth update. I'm praying yeah. on my knees. <laughs> Break up with boyfriend, set poncho free. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> no, set poncho. Well, do both. Do both. Go over I'm being like, I'm dumping you, and then pull I'm the taking cage. possum with uh, poncho with me. <laughs> All in one stride, <laughs> and <laughs> we're done. <laughs> and you know that TikTok song where it's like, oh, oh, it's like kind of like, like it's like setting free, like galloping in the. I don't know what you're talking. About. I wish I could ah, on TikTok once. Yeah, ah, within the last six months, it's almost like it sounds like it's from the um it's not from the lion king soundtrack but it's it has like similar vibes it sounds like a, a, a you know what <laughs> <laughs> yo dog oh, just play that in the background oh. Oh, yeah that's kind of close yeah, to it just do something with that <laughs> oh wait, no. I know titanic? what you're talking about no. i think i'm getting it mixed up with another song but that song works too. Da, 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 da. Oh. 
<laughs> that that one kind of works too. I think it's a different song. I can't yeah. remember. Okay. But hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Insert song <laughs> that sounds like animal freedom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he knows this hurts me. He knows the things he's been saying over the past couple of months have hurt me. He says he's sorry that he loves me more than life. No. That he doesn't want to hurt me. No. I told him that I needed to click that I am not expendable. Talk that talk that I am not a toy. I am not a punching bag that I am a human being who is fragile and just wants his love. Reach. OP mm -hmm. talk that talk sis. OP is not a poncho bag. Dude, <laughs> not a poncho bag. <laughs> he said that he's sorry <laughs> and then started talking about his possum. Oh God. Dump him. Dude, I'm thinking of like three guys right now who would do this that are like in this like dark depressive state oh. and only a possum can fix this. And you're like, he's doing this to himself because like by him being a like manipulative asshole to her, she's not going to want to support him. Like this doesn't help you, bro. It doesn't help you. Golly. Stop playing these mind games, bro. Let your possum free. Hashtag free Boncho. I was honest and told him how that made me feel like he wasn't taking me seriously. Yes. While also acknowledging that he was likely attempting to light the mood and that I appreciated that effort. I asked if we could watch a movie together and he asked if he could finish his first. I know it's selfish of me to make such a big deal out of such a small thing. Absolutely not. No, but it hurts so much. I wish he'd just drop everything and comfort me. I know that I'm not entirely to his time and attention and that it is a privilege. Oh, God, my heart! Ah! But I feel so unimportant, so expendable, and like I don't matter at all. I know a lot of you are still likely going to criticize me about why I'm still with him, why I haven't left. I know I'm probably really stupid and naive, but I love him. I love him so, so, so much, and I don't love myself. I don't even know if I genuinely deserve any of what I've said that I need. You do. Oh my God. I don't know. I'm just so sad and tired. I feel broken. I've been burned by him so many times in less than a year. I've been by his side through so many hard times. Just really quick, and there's more to the story, but like, I know, like, she's 19. She met him for, like, when you met someone like freshman year, you're like, I've known them for so it's long. First love. And like, first love, but like, there is truly so much. And I know it's like, it's just hard to like register. Like, there's a lot of people in the world. Also 19, but like, there's just so much world out there, and he's a piece of shit. You'd be surprised of how many guys don't have possible in their apartments dude most of them <laughs> they're not crying getting an opossum and then oh god i can't and even then manipulating you i have to stop i have to stop myself <laughs> um i have been hearing a lot of possum noises from your room riley actually hmm. okay <laughs> dude like Sophia is embracing the producer seat today <laughs> Sophia is morphing possum. into Riley right yeah, now yeah you know what I do have a lot of possum noises come from my room because I'm always playing dead aka sleeping no that was that wasn't like an innuendo that was I was just a joke about Riley having a possum sorry <laughs> oh <laughs> I not catch that. Right. Yeah, no, it wasn't good. What's the joke of Riley having a possum? No, there isn't. A, I'm sorry. It was a bad joke. It was true. I was just because you said not not a lot of guys have possums. And so I was Oh, like, and you're saying I would have one. Yeah. I'm sorry. Out of the whole bad. house, I probably would have a possum. Yeah, no, Honestly, yeah. Sophia That's being my in the producer seat is so entertaining. I cannot explain. I think it's making me less funny. Don't you feel like an unhinged amount of chaos? Yeah, building like I'm you? trying to make jokes and they're not. They're hard to land. Yeah, they're hard. To land because I can't. But see it's your actually face. hilarious, though. <laughs> They're a little off color. It's like what the fuck? It's, it's actually. What, it, what does that even mean? <laughs> but we roll with it. We're like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, put if you're here for Sophia in the producer seat because I know I am. Testify. Got Free Riley. Yeah. Free Riley. There we go. He says, I've forgiven him for so many lies. I have tried so hard to mold myself into the perfect person for him. I lost my most precious friends because I felt like they were hurting him. And I don't blame him for that. I never have and I never will. I don't think he's a monster or evil or anything like that. I do. I guess my question is, am I being entitled for wishing he would drop everything and comfort me right now? No. No. Like, no. Yes, of course, there's certain situations like someone can't always drop what they're doing, whatever. But like he was finishing his own movie, waiting to finish his own movie to come to you, 
when you have done the world, yeah. the world for him, bro, pause your damn movie. Yeah, yeah come dude. on. Get your movies out of here. Go come comfort on. your lady. Yeah, get rid of your possum. Honestly, at this point, I just feel like sinking to the bottom of this bath and just chilling here. But I know this possum needs help. I know I'd hurt his family and potentially him. Wait, you know this? I know I'd hurt my family. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. sorry I know I'd sorry. hurt my family. Uh, choosing the possum over them. <laughs> Man, uh, we have a fifth update. But. Possum Rescue. Possum Rescue. That's a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Mission Impossible. That one landed. That one was perfect. I'll give that, that one was to a, you. a backflip into a perfect landing. That was a yeah. perfect landing <laughs> that right was, there. That was good. That, that was, was good. 11 out of 10. Oh. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> uh, Y'all, do we just get into this fifth update here? Let's ride. Let's, let's, let's ride. ride. Let's ride. I think this is a perfect movie for 8 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> 8 p.m. I mean, that's our perfect story. For 8 p.m. It's just crazy. But the YouTube channel? No, never no, this, mind. this story yeah, this has story. a vibe of 8 p.m. Yeah. What's 8 p.m.? Yeah. Have a vibe of right a now, right it's 8 p.m. Right now, I think we're all oh, 8 all p.m. <laughs> I thought you said 8 p.m. I'm like, is that a movie studio? I thought we were like, wait, am I picking up what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Oh my god, yeah, this is a perfect loopy. 8 p.m. 8, 8, 8, 8 p.m. story. Why don't we go for 11 hours straight? This is what oh, happens. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, this is gonna that's gonna be great. Yeah. All right. So a fifth update posted a few hours after the fourth. I'm sorry. I will get this possum to safety. <laughs> <gasps> we're gonna do it. Mission Impossible. Oh, yes. This is amazing. I'm so, so sorry. You have all been very compassionate and kind and given me a lot of leeway. I know what I need to do and I'm trying to do it. I'll be better. You don't need to be better, OP. I will do it. I'm looking into the rehabilitators in the city he lives in to make the process faster as he lives three hours away from me. OP, you do not have to do this. Mm -mm. Like You're on the extra mile. Just call the cops. Just, yeah. yeah. Call the cops. Actually, call the cops. Yeah. No, put this boy in jail. Break up with him. Call the cops. I am so in favor of that. I'm not trying to be selfish and prioritize my relationship anymore and I won't make any more updates besides letting you all know that it has been done. I apologize for being selfish. You are not being selfish in the slightest. I'm not looking to gain sympathy. I just want to apologize as I feel awful. Don't be. I will get this possum to safety. It doesn't deserve this. All right, Riley, we have a sixth update. Okay. What's your guess? Let's just get to the all right. better. Here we go. Yeah, I'm sorry. The producer gets the, uh, <laughs> gets it's the, the tiny sad one. forsaken. Oh, I have one? Yeah, yeah it's you right were there kicking it earlier. There. The forsaken tinfoil hat. Riley, yeah. give me the synopsis of what you predict is going to go down. She's going to get fed up with this guy. Yep. Either one, go on a mission impossible, impossible yep. and rescue it herself. Yeah. Or like call someone and get the possum out of there. Yeah. I hope as like dope as it is to go and like free the possum, I do want her to just call the cops on him. Yeah. And him get arrested. That would be so awesome. Kicked out of his apartment. I would be so happy. This man infuriates me. He Horrible. does. He is 19. Yeah. Dude. He shows. God. All right. Let's get back to reality. Yikes. And so See what happens in this update. Ooh. First sentence, Poncho is back in the wild and very happy. No freaking way. Ooh. What? For anyone who's invested, aka all of us right now, or worried about the situation, I'm happy to say that Poncho is back in the wild. I invited my boyfriend and the rehabber I contacted over to the apartment for a checkup today. And although it took a lot of convincing, he ended up willingly making the right decision for Poncho. I'm assuming the boyfriend and allowing him to be released. Gosh. Ooh. Thank you, God. Using his head. And uh, not his other head. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What wait, does wait, that wait. mean? What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> you, we have an animal involved I don't in know. this story, Riley, John. this is a late night episode. We don't, we don't we know what we mean. We say things and we don't know what we they mean. We say things and they don't make any sense. <laughs> That's what this is. I think the problem was that did make sense in a bad way. In a bad way. You know, I didn't even make that connection when I said it. Because he's more obsessed over the possum right now than the girlfriend. That's true. That's true. But I feel like he'd be like, baby, I need you right now. Like, I need you for my happiness because I'm depressed. And I have no, my dude, he, went, he turned to the possum. I don't have my possum anymore. <laughs> I don't have my possum anymore. So I, I need to just. <laughs> stop, stop. I just need you. Brady, stop. <laughs> Keep it all in, editor. We took him to a park recommended by the rehabber, took a short little hike into a deeper part of the forest, and we released him. And almost immediately, he was scampering up a log and off into the foliage. Woo! Smiley face. 
Watch his freed. Oh, no. I am very proud of him, as I know this was a very, very, very difficult thing to do. I'm not proud of him at I'm all. I'm not proud of him. He should have done this three weeks ago. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> he should have never done it. Yeah, in the first uh, place. Even if it was certain that it was the right thing to do from the start. i just like to thank everyone who's given advice or showed me so, so much kindness. I'm really happy that the possum is now going to be happy and thriving and that I'm not wasting anyone's time any longer. Listen, you are not wasting. You're not wasting mm -hmm. anyone. You're entertaining are, us. We are being graced by your story yeah and and i know everyone who is able to help in real time felt the same way mm -hmm. i really 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 appreciate all of the messages i've received and i promise that i'll read and respond to as many as i can as far as the relationship goes <sighs> there's still something i'm trying to figure out <sighs> leave him uh, you know, please I'm not sure where I'm at right now honestly because I haven't been entirely honest I am a huge loser and in all honesty but I don't have to get into that right now you're the exact opposite of a loser yeah, I think, yeah I think the real problem here is self-esteem self-esteem yeah self-esteem yes, 100% he's using that against her perhaps yeah. 100% he's a, he probably recognized it and he's like using it to fucking manipulate her yeah oh my god well, yeah the whole time he's like I'm gonna break up with you because he knows that's how he can like have control over her yeah yes. that's a good point Dude. right now i'm just very relieved and happy that everything went smoothly and that poncho is a happy free possum now thank you again to everyone it was really different having people care about me and my situation without knowing or seeing me it's literally exactly what you deserve op i'm not really used to people caring about me because of the things i say and not because of ulterior motives it sounds like you have some very awful awful people around you. The boyfriend, he's the worst. He's terrible. He's terrible. It gives me a lot of hope that I can meet people just like that too in person. Keep that hope alive. So I just want to say thank you. Didn't really know what to sort this under. So I went with the same as my original post, though I know this isn't really asking for help or anything. If that's not correct, please let me know and I'll be sure to change it ASAP. And slightly unfortunately, that is the end of the story because we don't have that she didn't leave the relationship. And that's what I wanted. Yikes. Yeah. So honestly, I highly Ike would have rather have the boyfriend kept Poncho and the relationship be over. Yeah. And then you call the cops on him. Yeah. That would have been my favorite. That she's yeah. like, I'm calling the I cops wish. on but you. Poncho's safe. She's figuring it out with time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She'll probably figure it out. Yes. But Poncho's good. Poncho's good. We freed Poncho. We One freed for two. Poncho. Yeah. Wow. wow. Great story. Yeah. I'm like, I, that did feel like Mission Impossible impossible because I am I'm just imagining I'm floored. the possum and OP with like little like robber masks. On. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like yeah. like uh Rufus the naked mole rat from Kim Impossible, yes. but instead yes. of the naked mole rat, naked, naked mole rat. rat. It's <laughs> Sophia, that make Bro, you are on one tonight, Sophia. Yo. I love it though. You remind me of Ron, like oh. Baby John reminds me you remind yeah. me of Ron. Baby John reminds Baby me of John. Ron. Holy yeah. cow. Sorry, I just had to call it out. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. He's a little bit of a klutz, but I'll I'll take it. Dude, the only time are coming for me tonight. <laughs> Ron. Ron's, Ron's awesome. Ron's dope. He gets Kim. Come on. Yeah. Who doesn't love Ron? That's yeah. true. I actually hate Ron. Naima is your Kim. Kim. <laughs> you hate Kim? No, I hate Ron because he's with Kim. Oh, because you want to be with Kim. Yeah. Yeah. In an animation world uh -huh. cartoon. Anywho. Anywho. The only story I've heard of someone catching a possum is my great grandfather. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Did he God, I forgot about park. your okay <laughs> story. <laughs> but Charles, he would catch possums and put them in a bin and he would feed them like clean corn. And then over time, once they get good and fat, he'd kill it and then eat it. Oh. Nice. This is in the mountains of North Carolina. Yeah, I what, know. What, I know. The what else do you... Using it for <laughs> sustenance. Do. I got a lot of possum stories. <laughs> yeah. Do they all end with the possum being eaten? No. Oh. <laughs> Not cannibal or possum <laughs> eater. <laughs> Riley is a possum. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I walked through the woods once at night and it was a possum that scared me. Uh, it happened to my brother too. I think it was the same possum because <laughs> it happened like within three months. Damn. My brothers caught a possum and then they caught a cat. My grandpa killed a possum with a hammer. Yeah. It's pretty graphic because it, it got in his carport because because um, is eating the dog food. It was this Christmas. I had to like help him kill it. It was really graphic. How old are you? Twenty three. <laughs> <laughs> like, this Christmas. Oh, is this, Christmas? <laughs> this Christmas. They were like, you That's need to so go to funny. Georgia's because there was a possum in his carport. And you need to help him get it out. And I said, oh my okay. God. It was just, like, so graphic. Wow. I couldn't really sleep well the next night. But yeah, possums are very common for where I'm from. I remember very quick. Okay, story time for me. I was like about to throw out the trash, and I like opened it up. <laughs> I'm like swinging 
swinging, you know, when you're like swinging <laughs> the, and like literally mid swing, I see two possums just like standing, <laughs> standing on the trash, looking directly at me. And I just like, I don't even know if I eventually threw it on top of that. I think because I'm literally like, <laughs> I, and my little nine-year-old body, I could barely... So I went, boom, closed the lid, and I ran and screamed my head off and just ran inside. And ever since then, even to this day, like taking out trash specifically at my parents' house, I'm always like... They're coming for you. <laughs> you were scarred. <sighs> Those possums don't forget. Dude, they really don't. <laughs> they really this is the generational out. trauma story that they they passed. And you know what, with. dude? I that was that was freaking <laughs> Poncho's grandpappy, and I just <laughs> molly whopped him. And then Poncho was just out here trying to live his life, and then gets metabolic <laughs> bone disease and gets kidnapped. But then, <laughs> but then gets freed. So then it's cool in the end. But yeah. uh, what a what a story! Wow, wow. I am just what rocked right story. now. I'm, rocked, I'm just rocked. Wow. You want me to rock your world? Do it. With this next story. <laughs> my dog ate my neighbor's drone, and now he wants to take me to court. What should I do? My name's Riley. And John, what should OP do? Go to court? <laughs> you know what OP definitely shouldn't do? Capture <laughs> a possum from the wild. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, oh yeah, don't do that. But wait, so Opie's dog ate, ate a drone, drone of a neighbor. And now they're trying to take him to and court. And now the neighbor's trying to take him to claims small court. claims court. I mean, you Free gotta fight it, dude. Fight it. Like, cause if they're suing you, then you got Sue him right back. Honestly, be like, yo. Why is your drone this close to my dog? Yeah. <laughs> you want to take me to court? Yo, you're next. You almost killed my dog. Counter Sue. Yo, Counter Sue. Why, Why did you attack my dog with your drone? Mm -hmm. Who are we going to be more sympathetic for in the jury? The drone dying or the dog? Oh, Stop not a it. dog. No. Stop it. Can't even say it. Every jury member voting dog. So yeah. Yeah. yeah pull up. Pull I'm up, like, bro. yeah, bet. Take me to court. All, All right. right. See what happens. Let's do so, it. So user dead drone 999 says. <laughs> Damn. <gasps> RIP the drone. Clever. Not sure what to do. Earlier today, my neighbor came pounding on my door, screaming bad words and <laughs> shouting at me. When I finally got him to stop yelling, I found out that he was flying his drone in my backyard again. And this time my dog finally managed to catch it and destroy it. Okay. W yeah. dog. Definitely go to the Protecting court. Protecting his property. What else? Dude, come on, dude. It's on your property. Dog. What are you talking Come about? On. He claims that it was a $900 drone and I had to pay him right then and there. I refused and closed the door in his face. A couple hours later, the police show up and to retrieve the drone. It was still in my yard, but my dog completely ignored it once it stopped buzzing. Okay. And asked about the situation. The said neighbor called them stating that I refused him access to my yard to get it. That's not true. He never asked. I'm worried the neighbor will try to press charges against me for description of property or sue me. Will he have any any legal standing if he does go to court. He has a history of flying his drone low over my yard to tease my dog. How old is his neighbor? Bro, like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's great. Bro, sir, you made your bed and then you lay in it. Yeah. You That's did. how that works. I taunted a dog with my drone and now I'm so pissed that it attacked it. What did you expect? You Play just lost. Matches, you gotta get burned. Yeah. Literally. You lost the game. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. I have asked him several times to stop, which he always refuses, telling me that I don't own the air above my yard. <laughs> I don't own the air above my yard? Dude, tell that to the freaking like the the Air Force or whatever. Like who the, this who who regulates the skies, Riley? Yeah. Who those them. people. <laughs> them. <laughs> tell that to them. <laughs> The air feds. I have called the police to complain once before. He was doing flybys over my dog, getting very close to hitting him. The police didn't say he couldn't fly in my yard, but did ask him to stop doing so in order to avoid conflict. That only seemed to egg him on. So basically they're like, yeah, technically you're allowed to, but please stop. Yeah. Oh God. He was like, ooh, that, that got like, me going. Boom, green light go, baby. <laughs> that means more. Yeah, that means floor the gas. Oh my God. 
gosh. Okay, there's an update, but <laughs> oh, <laughs> you think you could take them to court for this? Yeah. I don't think OP should sue first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the neighbor's suing. Oh, the neighbor's suing at this point. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm pulling up to court and I'm being like, you taunted me with your dog. I have the police call that mm. stated that he's, he's flying it over. And I have the record of the police saying, while you're technically not breaking the law, please stop. Yeah. And then you did it again. What are you going to do? Yeah. You're going to lose, buddy. I don't care about the wasting my time or the money. The satisfaction I will get about seeing your face. Yeah. Priceless. <laughs> <laughs> Priceless. <laughs> what do you think, Sophia? Can you go to court for this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, uh, uh, like you said, OP has enough information that proves that this is all on the neighbor. Do you think he could get, like, emotional money out of it with the counter suit? Yeah, he could be like, he threatened my dog. Let's ask uh, GPT real quick. We'll paste the story and be like, could the author, like, sue for money. Chat GBT says, yes, it's possible for the OP to counter sue and potentially win money in California, depending on the circumstances of the case and the evidence presented, and then lists the same. Also, additional intentional infliction of emotional distress if the neighbor's actions were extreme and outrageous and caused the OP severe emotional distress, and also attorney's fee and costs. They could sue for that. Ask it how much could he settle for OP? Determining how much the OP could settle for in their counter suit would depend on various factors, including extent of damages, strength of evidence, legal arguments, insurance coverage and negotiation skills. Ask it, give, give me an estimate. Yeah, I want that number. Without knowing the specific details of the damages suffered by the OP and the strength of their case, it's difficult to provide an accurate estimate. Just say rough. Just give me a rough one, please. <laughs> say please. Please, I beg you. I'm begging you on my knee to give me a number, a dollar amount. Based on the information provided and assuming the damages suffered by the OP are significant but not excessive, a rough estimate for a potential settlement amount could be in the range of 5000 to 15000 Whoa! Ooh. However, this is a very general estimate and the actual settlement amount could be higher or lower depending on various factors. Wow. Oh. Let's go. You could get like 10 racks off of that. That would be amazing. Holy cow. That's also kind of scary. Like, I mean, I would never do something as dumb and <laughs> just ask the assholery of, of what this is. But I'm like, damn, the fact that you could get 10K of that maybe is Dude, like kind of wild. Insane. That's a little insane. Bro, five to 15 Gs could be. That's a happy day. Could be on the line, bro. Dude, you got your neighbor to stop pestering you, your dog's like fucking champ and you get 10, 5 to 15k? I'm in heaven. Dude, dream scenario. Please let this okay, happen. That's Let's the see dream this scenario. update. Alright, update. Small update to my neighbor flying his drone in my backyard and attacking my dog. I was served by a summons by a sheriff deputy. Neighbor decided to take me to small claims court over his drone. My mother-in-law is a paralegal secretary, so I was able to get a free consultation with a lawyer where she works to ask some questions about what to bring and how to prepare. He seemed genuinely amused that my neighbor was even trying to sue. He also suggested I counter sue and how I could possibly add in more damages. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. Dude, this is so clutch. Okay. He also told me that my neighbor and I technically live within five miles of an airport. Now we're cooking Ooh, because of the drone yeah, laws. Yeah. Like the drone, the air drone laws. Maybe it's... Yeah. Dude, yeah. we are Big cooking. We are cooking Oh now. boy. Cooking with gas. And even though it doesn't have a tower technically that falls under FAA regulations. That's who it was, the FAA. Yeah, the, <laughs> the air feds. I called the hotline from Google and spoke to them about my neighbor's hobby of flying out of the line of sight, because I guess there's a law. Flying several hundreds of thousands of feet in the air, flying near an airport, and made an inquiry into if he was registered to fly drones and saying he owned two very large drones. He already bought a new one. It's almost five feet across. So he has what? two drones and not registered. I'm sorry, five feet? Can you look up like a Effort wait, pro wait, 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 yeah, look that up, Sophia. What the but, fuck is he using this so, for? So now we are talking about a five foot drone attacking a dog? Bro, dude, that's like a helicopter attacking <laughs> he your dog. You got a small one, it's like wildly the coyote. Okay. He's like, I'm gonna get bigger. Professional dude. drone is four feet and up for a large drone. <laughs> he's, he's gonna attack it with a bigger drone. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> could you Google a five foot drone? Wait, wait, yeah. Look at the one with the pit, the people. I mean, so for reference, those wings could be five feet. Am I wrong? Yeah, wait, does it say wait, on wait, the post? Five foot. Sophia, how tall are you? I am five foot seven. Okay, does that minus seven inches? That's way taller than Sophia. What? That drone. Wait, wait. If you lay down, that thing's way bigger. It's five feet. That drone's not five foot. The wingspan of that drone is not five feet. Dude, look, the guy's kneeling next to it. It's close, <laughs> maybe four feet, right? 
It could be four no, feet, right? No, that thing, if he's laying down, that thing's way taller than that person, the weak span of that drone. It's, so it's more than five feet, you're it's saying? way more than five feet. Oh, not that much more. It looked kind of tiny. I don't know, bro. I could be lost, but wow. Okay, okay. I don't know the weight of this, but it's definitely at least a few pounds. They took my information and have called me back once, so I know they're investigating, but don't know anything else. Not sure if they will tell me anything anyways. Okay, so he, he called Google people, and he's getting this figured out. Right. I brought both police reports to court, as well as several photos of my backyard, photos of our shared eight-foot high privacy fence, medical bills from my dog and a few short videos of him flying by over past the dog. Dude, it's he game over. It's checkmate receipts. over here. Okay. His main argument to the judge is that I maliciously installed a table to allow my dog to jump high enough to catch his drone, which I somehow trained him to do. Really? Bro just has a table in his backyard. My guy is grasping at straws right now. He's like, go get it. And his free dumb. He's like, like, oh, he has a table in his backyard. The tyranny. I Meanwhile, you have a five foot drone that you are after police are asking you not to continuing to fly over. It's like he just set up a table and told the dog, yeah. trained the dog He's to like, jump up and get it. The table. It's his backyard. The dog is jumping on a table. <laughs> like, because you're like, just don't fly over the, the backyard. OP just needs to come off as like a sensible person and be like, judge, this is crazy. No, they just go, judge. Ju come on. Judge. Come on. I have a table in my backyard. Yeah. Sue me. Oh, you are. Yeah. <laughs> <Sue me. laughs> Which, yes, I recently bought a new picnic table, but only so I have somewhere to sit and eat outside. What? It's not a normal thing to do, of course. How could you install a picnic table in your backyard for you to sit and have a good time at? Dude. Insane. <laughs> How dare you? Of course, you use it for malicious intent. <laughs> I argued that his flying was causing my dog anxiety and that it provoked it. Yes. And thanks to y'all's advice, my dog could have potentially died from ingesting part of the drone or if the drone hit him, which I is I mean, true. a thousand percent. That's a big ass drone. In the end, he now has to pay me under 2K for various vet bills, x-rays, dental exams, sedations, other medical things. Okay. And he's also banned from flying over my property and I installed trail cams, front and backyards just in case. He seems pretty upset with me, so I wanted to be careful. The only thing Thing that could make this better is if the FAA finds a reason to find him or take away his drones. Let's go. OP's comment. Oh, dude, <gasps> they have pictures. We got oh. pictures of the dog. Oh. oh, he's so cute. Oh, what's his name? Nico. I don't Nico? know what the dog's name is. Sorry, Nero, I think. Yeah. What is it again? I think it's Rico. It might be Rico. He's such a good boy. Rico. Dude, that dog is adorable, bro. He's just a sweet little babe. Look at him. Yeah, let him be. Don't stop terrorizing this dog. Got some relevant comments. Says, I'm more concerned about your dog. It's possible he swallowed something that could hurt him. Watch him carefully, but honestly, be sure I'd take him to the vet. Sounds like they already did. If he swallowed something sharp or too big, it could be deadly. If your dog was actually injured because of this moron, you can sue him for the vet bills, which he already did. Your neighbor is an idiot. He's blowing smoke. Ignore him unless he actually does sue you. Thank you. It did occur to me that he might have gotten a piece of it. We'll head to the vet when they open up in an hour. So I think that was for earlier right. in the story. But wow. What a story. Bless. Um, hopefully the FFA gives the neighbor a call in Texas Jones way. I wanted him to get $15,000. Yeah, he got like 2K. He got his money back. I wanted him to get $100,000. This sweet babe. This baby. I've been okay with 5K in a good story. I mean, I'm glad that he did. Like, I mean, that's that's a pretty good W. Like, And you get to keep the neighbor's drone. New drone. And he gets to keep the neighbor's new drone. That's what I've been happy with. Yeah. 5K, uh, new drone. 5K and a and new a drone story. and a story. Yeah. So wait, wait, wait. As of now, he's not barred from using drones. Like, no, it period, seem right? Like that. He just can't be flying over. He just can't be flying over OP. Watch, bro, watch him still do it. Of yeah. course. He got a bigger drone. Well, like, that's also he's kind do. of a privacy issue, no? Definitely. I guess unless you don't have a camera on it, but but, what else but is like it, it could. <laughs> you know, wow. Like, it's a new age. It's a new age. The what dawn is privacy? Of a new era. Never had it. <laughs> not, especially not in this house. <laughs> That is true. None of us have privacy. Uh, our life is content. It is. It is. It's very dangerous whenever you put one of us in front of the mic. But when you set boundaries. Yeah. It's okay. Whoa. Hey, hold on. I learned what that word was today. There it is. Boundaries. Boundaries. That's the word of the day. Uh, yeah. yeah. <sighs> this was awesome. I like being yeah. here. Dude, Riley, you crushed it, dude. You crushed thank it. You for, you killed it. Thank you for, for joining us yeah, today. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. And you know, if you love us, make sure to subscribe. And we love you. And, and see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.